we're going to take a look at adding media to your broadcast in your VLive Studio 2. Now the icon for adding media is there and first thing is you can actually upload from your hard drive. So select the first icon, it will go off and you can select whichever image you want and it will be loaded into your staging area in a moment and then you can use it. Now the thing about items that come into the staging area is that they will stay there until you delete them. You can put them there before a show, you can add them during a show, it's up to you. I prefer to get all my images and videos lined up ready to go so I can sort of cycle between them and decide which to go next. We do a show on uh, Tuesdays at 9am Eastern, Fonz and I, and we are touring the UK and we're going from A to Z and last week was Cambridge and Chester and we use video and I get all six videos into my studio before the broadcast so I can just bring them up on screen. But at the moment we're looking at images so if I go and show the image up on screen next to me and I can put it full screen there's the image that I'm going to be talking about. Now I've left myself in the staging area so I can talk about the image. This is the shopping centres in, uh, well, in Germany really. And you can see the skyscrapers. This is known as the city of shopping. And uh, this is one of the Ask Angelicas that we did. So you can load an image. You can also load, I'll hide that, come back to me. You can also load by the same method an mp3 file up to 100 megabytes in size now that's between five and seven minutes of a video if that's what you want to do then you can do it um, you basically you're actually bringing it up to your studio it's playing on your computer but there is a better way you can now upload the videos to youtube and if you upload to youtube and let's go over to youtube for a moment and here is one of my videos, my countdown videos on YouTube. And I'm going to stop it playing in a second. And it will start playing and then it will stop. So I'm going to stop it. OK, now what I want from that is the URL. If I copy the URL at the top of the screen, I can come into the Belive Studio. I can click the second option and I can paste the link into there and push it down into my staging area. And there's the video ready to be played. So what I need to do now is I'm going to put myself full screen. You'll see why in a moment. And then I'm going to bring the video in. That didn't quite work, never mind. The video is going to appear at the side of me. And what I want to do is to make it full screen. So I'm going to make it full screen and you can see the video on screen. Now you won't hear the sound or you might hear part of the sound when you play the, I'm recording this, but when you do it directly, any sound you hear now comes from a microphone, any sound that's played out is coming direct from YouTube. So when you're live, it will come from YouTube. Let's just start the video by pressing the button. Now, I do have a separate video all about playing YouTube videos, and that's the one to watch. For the moment, though, if I stop that, you can see that I can fast forward. Yeah, and this is, a, this is not playing a YouTube video. This is a YouTube video player, and you do have controls. You can set something to watch later on your channel if you like uh, or you can change the settings the quality of the video and the speed at which it plays back it might be interesting to see a shark go at uh, double speed so let's try that and the shark should go a little bit faster okay so we can we can actually sort of We've got full control over the video and I can take that video off by hiding it, which brings me back on screen in a second. 
and then I can remove it. Okay, so sharing videos, there's a separate video about it. It is the best way of using video in a Belive Studio 2 broadcast. There are still the options to upload the video, but by far the smoothest and the one you've got more control over is actually using a YouTube video. Uh, just whilst I've got your attention, if you're enjoying this course, then please do go over to my YouTube channel and press like or follow or something like that, because uh, that makes the whole thing worthwhile. Now, the third thing you can do with ad media is you can take media direct from Facebook. So there's my Facebook account and I can take a cover well take a cover photo and I can bring the image and I can bring that image directly up on screen. Okay, so there's the image. I'm going to bring it up on the screen at side of me. But you can see down in the staging area that I have the ability to go backwards and forwards. Okay, then I can go picture in picture, probably the other way is best, and I can talk about the image, and I can then talk about the next image. So uploading from, this was a, an evening of song, uploading from uh, Facebook, you can upload either from a private album or you can upload any of the images you have stored on Facebook and it simply works. And if you're in an album, then you can go through and I have no idea what's going to go now. So I can just go through the images. Ah, right. Okay. I can just go through. Sorry about that. I'm just going to go through the images. As I said, I didn't know what was going to come up and I can talk about the images whilst they're on screen. So, let's hide the image, which will bring it back to me. So, you can, in summary, upload from your hard drive before or during the show. You can upload from Facebook before or during the broadcast. Or you can upload, you can put a link in to the videos, YouTube videos you want to play during your broadcast. And it's as simple as that. Images and videos do enliven a broadcast. They help you to tell a story. And uh, I remember with Vincent uh, in Burkhart, uh, he told my story in images uh, with me talking about each picture. And it's a great way to actually get a conversation going because images are a great conversation starter. And it also gives people something visual to look at other than just you, which is, in a way, a good thing. So you can mix things up if you use images and videos in your broadcast. Make sure they're relevant. And just to go back to the videos at the moment, make sure you've got the copyright or you've asked for it. Um, other than that, enjoy using imagery in your Belive Studio 2 broadcasts. That's it for the moment. I'll see you in the next video.